Please would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship. Hey, Cap. Good to see you, boss. I sure hope he negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. I knew a doctor like him once. He had a patient complaining of ankle pain, so he amputated the man's foot. Wasn't even the right one. Point is, good intentions don't count for shit. And nothing's more dangerous than a crusader with a cause. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hand with it? Guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Still, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head. And they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Everyone is. The board just pays the best. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. Don't mention it, just speaking from experience. Anything else? I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Can we talk? Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they gotta be worried sick. Whoa, let's calm down. I'm not asking for a favor or anything. I'm just suggesting we stop by. When we're in the neighborhood. 
see, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. This is why I have to see them. They'll hardly recognize me. Oh, well, I was thinking you'd come too. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. You're the boss. Anything else? It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. Even the bribes are overpriced. The real question is why didn't I leave sooner? There's all these invisible rules and everyone spends all their energy just trying not to break them. I was a top-tier surgeon, but I could hardly open a pack of gauze without ten people signing off first. Now you see why I left. People call Byzantium the jewel of Halcyon, but really, it's just paste. Everything's polish and bureaucracy. Take a close look and you'll see it's deader than anywhere else in the colony. Interesting like a colonoscopy. I trained as a surgeon. More my folks' idea than mine, but I made the best of it. Lots of them, unfortunately. I even sculpted a few. Turns out Byzantines are more concerned with having square shoulders and a good profile than, well, anything else. Don't trust anyone, don't touch anything, and whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. That's what I've been saying.
Feeling a little off balance? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? According to local legend, if you walk around the orrery three times, your corporate rival will die of a paper cut. You think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the earrings? Meh, probably just shot. I'm afraid I can't come down here. I'm on my legally allotted break. Really, I'm supposed to be here. Out with it, you wretched contraption! Citizens, today marked a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budget... Sure, it looks empty. There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial-grade cleaning solvent and desperation. Thank you. Marilyn, is that you? Boss, oh, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And <laughs> I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. There you go again, Captain. Always menacing, polite society. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <coughs> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? Yep, we're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. We'll stay as long as we'd like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. Just a second. You had the floors redone with real Terran marble? Since when can you afford that? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand. We hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. What did you do? Why, we did what any grieving parents would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather, uh, substantial. You what? What vulgar company you keep, Marilyn? Well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. 
For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Damn right, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. I need a word. We hardly been there a minute and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. thought they'd be scandalized. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid aether wave dramas, and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider, and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open mouth. I'd have a great one-liner in the tube. I was thinking either the leather's fake, but the scars are real, or... Oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? Father would throw his hands up, because this would be just like me, to come back and make a big scene. Then, Mother would do the old, you had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red, and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know? And I've got a reputation to maintain.
I'm used to rough situations. Like when someone loads your pistol with blanks and strands you in a Marauder moon base, or traps you in an airlock with an angry mantis worm. But I want to talk about me now. Can I just have a drink and punch some poor defenseless pillow instead? Anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. Something like... Wait a second. What if I could get that money? I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary, all the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing, and I'll get to cut them off. My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of the terminals and do it ourselves. <laughs> 